trip with Cigar Federation. We're here at IPCR 2017 at the Drew Estate booth with Jeff Boisowitz. Uh, Jeff, as you may or may not know, grows the uh, FSG for Drew Estate. Jeff, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so in 2013, we started a farming project in Florida. Um, Florida has a rich storied history of growing great cigar tobacco. Uh, unfortunately, it went away uh, 50 years ago was the last time a, a crop was grown. So we had a vision of trying to bring that back uh, a little. You know, it's part of our American culture and our, our history of, of growing great cigar tobacco. Uh, but one of the challenges is that you know it's very expensive to grow to grow tobacco and whether it's in Connecticut or whether it's in Kentucky or, or whether it's in Florida. But um, we knew that if it was done a hundred years ago, it can still be done today. And I always use the analogy when we look at our farm and the plants out on the farm, they don't know whether it's 2017 or 1817. So if you could do it then, we can do it now. So we started in 2013, did a test crop of genuine uh, Corojo 99 and Corojo 90, uh, Criollo 98. Uh, did a test crop and uh, it worked. The tobacco turned out great. It was a small crop, you know, we kind of grew it, let's call it a little bit wild, so you can see what, what, what pressures we had or what issues we had. And every year we just improved and continued to learn. And I use that word learn strongly because we the, the cigar industry, especially the tobacco growing industry, and farmers in general are very helpful people. You know, if you have a, one farmer struggling with a problem, another farmer's there to help you. But one of the challenges is that when you're the only farmer in the state of Florida growing cigar tobacco, you can get technical advice from someone in Connecticut or someone in Nicaragua or Mexico, but it's totally different. It's based on you know your altitude, your temperature, your humidity, things like that. So we had to kind of figure it out on our own, even though with a lot of technical advice, because some things that work in Nicaragua don't work where we work, where we are. Yeah, of course. But um, you know, over the years, we've got this down where. We're, you know, thank God, and, and uh, it's this our best year ever. 2017 was the best crop we ever had. Uh, there's a lot of challenges that you can face, whether it's a tornado or hailstorms hail or too much rain or wind or whatever, but this year has been great. And, um, you know, part of the process of growing tobacco and making great cigars is that, you know, you've got to get the cigars out to market. And we've uh, been selling them as exclusive in our stores for the last two years. Um, and it's great to be able to share that with other tobacconists across the country now and where the t people can you know, go to their local tobacconist and get a FSG cigar and uh, enjoy. You know, people haven't been smoking Florida tobacco for 50, 60, 70 years. So it's, we're, you know, it's a renaissance of something that's a little different. And um, I'm just proud that, that, it's, that it's working out and I'm glad to be able to bring that little bit of history. Our, our farm's small, you got, you know, it's a, 10 acres of tobacco. So it's a, it's a very small crop. But it's, it's as craft and as authentic and as boutique as you can get and 100% legit. So uh, enjoy FSG. And, you, and, and like you said, uh, previously it was an exclusive. It's going to be available shortly at all DDRP retailers, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so we're, I think um, they should be able to start shipping pretty soon. I mean, we've been working on this project for a while, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it should be ready to go to the retailers. I, I, I don't want to speak for Drew Estate on that because, listen, as, as someone in the industry, I know that our industry has a uh, sort of a reputation of saying something's coming out at a certain point in time. And Nica time. Like, yeah, Nicaragua time. So yeah, we'll, we'll use the word Nicaragua time on that. But um, yeah, hopefully they'll be in the retailer shelf soon. All right. Thanks for your time, Jeff. Got it, man. Really appreciate, appreciate it. Bye, too, all right? Smoke yeah. FSG.